Oh my god! <laughs> 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 and yes, so this is obviously the Melt lineup from 2008. It's a snapshot <laughs> of, of the best year of, of our existence. Who do we have? Bjork, Franz Ferdinand, Editors, Hot Chip, Kate Nash. We would have toured like with many of these people. Sadly, some of them are no longer with us and <laughs> musically. <laughs> They're not dead. Stop. Christina. Christina Aguilera. <laughs> oh no, it's um, it's Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga was um, we played a festival. Where was it? It was like some somewhere. Anyway, she was playing the same festival, and we arrived in our dressing room, and there was no red wine, and the reason was that Christina Aguilera had taken our red wine. Not personally, but someone, they, she wanted it on her rider. Someone took it from our rider. We were playing, we were clashing with Lady Gaga and no one watched us. We had about four people. No, no red wine, four people in the audience. It's Fleet Foxes. That's a disappointing gatefold. <laughs> It's, it, it's Dizzy Rascal and Calvin Harris. Look at that, look at Calvin Harris, he looks so young. I was never really into that song. It was a bit like um, a kind of like, like a pretend Neptune's beat or something. Like it was a bit like, I think Calvin Harris was trying to be Pharrell Williams. I guess it was 2009 or something, like around that time we, or maybe a bit later, we met him in Australia and he's like the coolest, nicest guy. And definitely you wouldn't have imagined that his kind of ambition, and I don't know if it was or whatever, like was to become like the highest paid DJ in the world. <laughs> but like, you know, I guess he must have made the kind of decision to like, to just, you know, meet Taylor Swift and like become, become that kind of guy and like live in LA. And part of me is, is extremely, is extremely like jealous of that. But then part of me is very confused by, by how like this man became the man he is now. I'm slightly sad that I'm not the highest paid DJ in the world. <laughs> it's Kanye West. The thing I love about Kanye West is that pretty much every one of his albums has like a kind of ballad, <laughs> like a kind of like not really like a rap, but a kind of ballad. Mm. You know what I mean? Like these kind of songs which make me very jealous of him, like in terms of like songwriting. I feel like he's become distracted a little bit, you know, with other things. And, and it's kind of sad because he was so like, he was so vital like in music and and he would have influenced like Kendrick Lamar and but obviously Drake and all these people like all these people who are, who are making like incredible rap records or whatever I think if he was just doing music he wouldn't have lost a little bit of relevance you know it's like being a vegan <laughs> and like and not following it through to like leather and thing you know what I mean like it's kind of like you have this kind of goal but if you get it, if that gets diluted with like, just kind of crazy celebrity stuff, it kind of slightly ruins the message, you know? Somebody, 